Hi, this is Beth Alcazar, and today on Pacifiers and Peacemakers, we're going to talk a little bit about how to be safe at one of the most common places where you could be attacked. We've seen a lot on the news lately that a lot of theft, kidnapping, and attacks happen at none other than the gas station. And I know that a lot of ladies have reached out to me asking, how can I be safe when I go to pump gas? This can be a vulnerable area for a lot of people, especially if you have kids in the car. So hopefully some of these tips and tactics will be useful to you the next time you need to put gas in your car. First and foremost, if possible, if you can, you wanna get gas in a neighborhood where you're familiar. Obviously that gives you a little bit of safety because it's common ground and you know your surroundings. Second of all, if you can get gas in the daylight hours, that's gonna be your best option. If you can't, just find the most well-lit area. I also look to see you know, what video surveillance is there. We know that nowadays cameras are everywhere, but if you wanna position yourself in the best place at the gas station, try to find a pump that is also closest to the door or within view of whoever is working at that store. A lot of times I like to find the pump that's at the end so that no one can be behind me. That way I feel safer because I don't feel like I need to constantly be looking around me to see if someone is around. Other people find the complete opposite to be better, where they find the pump in the front so that they can get in their car and very quickly just drive away with no one blocking them in. It's totally up to you what works best in your scenario. Just keep in mind if you have kids or if you need to go inside to pay or if you decide to pay at the pump. Another thing to think about as well is if you are pumping the gas, close your doors, lock them, and make sure that you have your keys with you at all times. That way, even if you're standing there at the pump and you are aware of your surroundings, no one can get to the car and try to open it and take your belongings or possibly try to take your children. And if you decide to go in for something, a snack, some coffee, or you just need to pay inside, you've got everything with you that you can possibly need and no one can sneak in there and grab something when you're not paying attention. Other things to think about is just be cautious and aware. Use that good situational awareness. Look around you to see what's going on. If there are other people at the gas station, they should be looking at their car or their gas pump or paying attention to what they're doing. They shouldn't be looking at you or wondering what you're up to. So if you get a lot of eye contact from someone, that could be a hint that they're paying attention to you to see what you're doing to either hurt or harm you or possibly take your valuables. One other thing to think about is don't trap yourself in. Be aware of where objects are in your environment. Even the, the pump itself and the hose, you don't wanna be trapped and have that behind you and then trip over it if you try to get away. So think about all those things first and foremost before you even pull into the gas station. That way you have a better chance of having a safe, easy, simple time of it without having to worry about what could happen to you, your children, or your valuables. Hope these little tips help. Think of these the next time you're out and about. And until next time, stay safe and be well armed.